and welcome back to my channel. Um, new subscribers, thank you. Um, you know, those who stick with me. Brilliant. Anyway, right, I'm going to be having a VR to Yorkshire Man 66, what was my first console that we had, I think. I mean, you know, um, that got me into gaming. It's um, my Mega Drive. Uh, yeah, had to be at that point, being honest, because, yeah, I mean, it's the only thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, it was expensive at that time, but, yeah, I mean, you know, it's the only one that I could actually um, buy, being honest. I wasn't that well off, being honest, but hey, that doesn't matter. So, yeah, that's that's my VR, um, my Mega Drive. I love my Mega Drive, I still do. I got Sonic the first one a few months back, so that was, that was fun. And, uh, yeah, that's good. Anyway, right. I put something on my Facebook when I went down to Dartford. Um, when was it? Monday. Yeah, Monday I went down there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, had to take a friend down there to make sure he's okay. So, yeah, done that. And um, CX had five PlayStation 5s for four, five, seven hundred and ten pounds. Yeah, I took a look in the store. Um, you know, and uh, there was one in the window. And there was four inside the store, um, you know, in the shelf units as they are. Um, yeah, and then I looked on the outside. I went went to the outside of the store and saw, saw two Xbox Series X's for £630. Now, I went into this store and asked could I do an interview with the manager at that point because I got really brassed off with the way they piss it. Uh, they taking the mick out of people being honest um i literally went in there and said can i have an interview with the manager can i take my camera with me you know can i take my tripod and my camera to give him an interview for my youtube channel um he said no can you contact head office for me um i sent them an email on that monday um haven't received anything back yet um to their press office i didn't go anywhere else i just went straight to their press office on what i mean you know and see what they would say about it um it's a bit of a subject you know because at the end at the end of the day um 730 pound or 710 pound for a playstation 5 it's a 450 pound machine i keep saying that you know you can go to sony ask them to buy it direct they will give you the machine within a few weeks i think it's two three weeks so you have to wait for it so because of because of um, they saying it's it's the lack of um how many they make you know yeah you know what I mean? so that's that's diabolical as far as i'm concerned I, if i get that in the view i will be um going down to dartford with my camera and my tripod and um giving the interview me, I might consider going into the uh, Gravesend one as well and see what they say about it. But if I can't get an interview with one of the managers, I want an interview with one of the people. I know they're franchise out. I know they are. Like um, cash converters and money generators and monster money, mon money monster. They're all franchised out. So um, what I am going to say about it is that basically it's don't bo don't bother going in there and buying a lot. Yeah, you know I mean if you see games reasonable cost yeah that's fine that's what i do but when it comes down to consoles um it's a rip-off when it comes down to the next this generate the new generation consoles that is there um i think personally that um the markup of 300 pound is a it's a piss take um and it's wrong even though i as i said i keep, I keep saying it i love playstation the bits i won't pay that money for it because yeah, you know I mean, I can if I got before got one from Sony for four hundred and fifty quid, with the other three hundred pound, I could buy about six games. So, yeah, you know I mean, I'll get a better deal doing it that way. But I ain't going to do that either. I'm going to wait for a while. You know, what I mean, you know, yeah, it has its some 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 of them have it has its issues, and some of them are okay. So, anyway, um, it's not the done thing. They need to be. Um, accountable for what they're doing being honest and I think personally somebody has to do it now I don't mind I don't mind 
You know what I mean, doing it. I don't mind doing the interview. You know what I mean, taking me camera and me tripod down there and literally get, getting an interview from the manager asking why they got the markup price of that. Because I'd love to know. Because they're just taking the piss out of people. Now Christmas is coming. And uh, my advice to parents. Um, don't go into CEX and buy a, a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X in 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 CX don't please don't because you're because you're playing into everybody else's hands that wants to buy one at the original cost so yeah my that's my advice um you know if you're a parent thinking oh I'll get one for 450 um go to Sony for it for either email Sony or or find it online for 450 quid marketplace now I mean, I've had a go at them as well. I've had a go at Facebook for Marketplace because they sell them at £500 plus. £500 or £550, which is £100. Which I know, it is a markup, but to have a high street store take the mick like they're doing is wrong. It needs to be sorted, you know what I mean, you know, if you want to go to my Facebook page and take a look at the pictures of what other people have said, like Christopher, um, you know, and Mark, and, and me, and uh, my mate Dan upstairs, you, you can take a look, it's Tony Powell, you, you have a look at my Facebook page, um, I will put this up on, the, on there as well, but they're taking the mick, um, it's wrong. Something needs to be said media-wise about it. You know what I mean? You know, and it's diabolical. For you know what I mean, you know, seven hundred and thirty pounds, which is nearly three hundred pounds. Oh, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nearly three hundred pounds over the over the limit. That's wrong. That is seriously wrong. Um, anyway, right. That's me frustration out the way because yeah, you know I mean you know as I was waiting for my friend, I literally looked around the CEX. Hey, the games have gone up. We know that. Um, you know, games that are usually seventy-five p have gone up to one pound fifty. I was going to look in cash converters, but um, no. Yeah, you know I mean there's not a lot in there. Anyway, right. That's the end of me for today. Um, thank as I said earlier. If you thanks for the new subscribers. Um, you know, over the five hundred now. Yeah, I mean within a few weeks, it's been mad. Anyway, thanks for them and thanks for the ones that are sticking by me. That was good. And um, I will see you in the next one. I'm aiming that I'm not going to have a rant about CEX any longer. I don't mean I will. I will keep you informed of what goes on because I haven't had an email from them back. They said 24 hours. They say it may take longer. So I'm aiming that I could get an interview with either the manager at Dartford or the manager in Gravesend. Actually, I do know the manager at Gravesend. Yeah, I mean, you know, he used to work in the pound shop at one point as a manager. He's now the manager there. I might ask him, can he do a, can I do a video in the store? Yeah, I mean, so I might do that. See what happens, you know, if I don't get no response, I'll send them another email and then chuck it at them and see what happens. Anyway, that's me done, you know. Um, you know, I know Mark got up to 400 subscribers. Um, congratulations, mate, that's good. You know, you get in there, um, you know, so am I. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was stuck with 63 for so long, so I don't realise that I've got more subscribers now. Anyway. Thanks for now. I will see you in the next one. I'll make a video on what's today? Wednesday today, Thursday, Friday, sorry Saturday or Sunday. I'm not bowling because the bowling season's over with. And I um, will see you soon. I hope you enjoy my videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks everybody for the subscribers. I will see you soon and bye for now.